Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to the fourth instalment of FIFA 15 Career Mode Potential Stars. We're having a look at some of the youngsters that could grow into some of the best players in your Career Mode series for this upcoming season. Today we'll be having a look at another three players you guys uh, requested last week that we upped it from two to three. We did so yesterday. A link to that episode will be in the bottom left. We're doing so today. The first player, as you'll be able to see in just a second, is Adnan Yanazai. He, of course, started the uh, the start of the FIFA 14 year as a very, very low-rated 61 bronze. He, of course, got a quite large and significant uh, January upgrade into a silver card. And I think he's going to go up yet again to a 74 rated silver for the start of FIFA 15. And of course, he burst onto the scene for Man United with a couple of absolutely spectacular performances. Didn't really shine too much last season, but of course, United were struggling with uh, David Moyes as manager. The team weren't performing as a whole, not just uh, Yanazai as an individual. So uh, I still think he's got the potential to become one of the better players in a career mode series. And uh, of course, of course, I'm sure a lot of you will agree, Manchester United fans in particular, but I've given him a potential rating of 86, although of course that's just an estimate. He could go on to be an 87, 88, maybe even an 89 as you head further into the uh, the seasons as they go by in a career mode series. So uh, that's the first player. The second is a player that we used quite a bit in the Dortmund career mode that ended last week, Milos Jojic. I think it's pronounced Jojic. Uh, J-O-J-I-C. Uh, I think it's pronounced Jojic. Oh, at least judging by the website I use for pronunciations, they pronounced it Milos Jojic anyway. But he's a youngster playing for Dortmund. It didn't have that higher potential this year and actually wasn't on Ultimate Team at all. So uh, he started at 75 and ended around about 78, 79 for us in the career mode. But next year he has been confirmed to have a 76 rated uh midfield centre mid card and I think considering how good he was for us and how highly rated he is at the uh, the Signal Iduna Park I think he could grow to become one of the better midfielders in Europe 85 perhaps 80 even perhaps even 86 rather you know one of the players that bosses that midfield role and of course he sat behind the likes of Shinji Kagura in front of him with perhaps Ilke Gundogan alongside him should they be able to keep hold of him with Nuri Shaheen there as well as a defensive cover in midfield could become a rather formidable midfield uh, you know pairing or quartet even for a Borussia Dortmund this year of course Henrik Mkhitaryan also has had a vastly improved ultimate team card as well so fingers crossed Jojic can have another good season in real life for Borussia Dortmund and grow quite substantially. The third and final player we're looking at today, as you can see, is Nathaniel Chalaba or Chaloba. Of course, been on loan out from Chelsea for a few seasons now. Was at line, on loan at uh, Watford two years ago. Last year, again, went to the championship with, uh, with Forest and Middlesbrough. And this year has finally got himself a loan spell to a Premier League side in the shape of Burnley. And he was quite highly rated on uh, FIFA 14 with his potential uh, in regard to his potential 70 start card up to an 85 potential I think he's going to get a little bit of an improvement in his uh, his base stat of 72 and uh, obviously he's uh, well, you know one of the best young talents that Chelsea have at the at the club right now both he and um, and Josh McEachern are probably the two best central midfielders we have in the lineup. Although, of course, you've got players like Lewis Baker coming through as well that can potentially break into the first team over the next few years. We'll have to wait and see how that goes. But I think Chaloba will hopefully get some decent first team football at Burnley. He hasn't played as of yet, to my knowledge, although I may be wrong there. He may have had some football already, but the uh, the... I guess we'll wait and see how well he plays this season. But I think growing-wise, he could be a good young player to pick up for your career mode. And uh, fingers crossed he can grow into uh, into a first-team regular for, uh, for Chelsea in the next few years in real life. And hopefully for you as well in your FIFA 15 career mode. But that's all for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to leave the video a like if you enjoyed. Of course, leave me some suggestions down below so that I know what players to look out for the rest of this week. And, uh, of course, as well, feel free to check the channel page for anything you may have missed. We'll have... Uh, some more content tonight with regards to my player and of course there was uh, another episode of this yesterday as well as a, uh, a FIFA 15 demoing not sure as I record this who you'll have on uh, your Monday night but I'm sure you will have seen it by now if you haven't then definitely check the channel page for it and of course if you aren't subscribed already smash that subscribe button maybe we could hit 19k just before FIFA 15 comes out but that's all for today thank you very much for watching guys to see you tonight with another video and uh, yeah goodbye